y'all. Hello, my gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. It is your girl Amanda, the buzz artist. Welcome back to my channel. It's DIY time, queen bees. I'm going to show you how to make different types of palettes. These are all inexpensive options that you can use and make yourself at home for your acrylic paintings. Plus, I'm going to show you one type of palette that you can make that will help keep your acrylic paints wet for much, much longer. So with that being said, let's get to the video. Okay, the first type of palette is a glass palette. This is something that I actually saw on another YouTube video from The Creative Glow. I'm gonna link to her video in the description below because I thought this was such a great tutorial. What I actually used here is an old picture frame that I got at Dollar Tree. So this probably cost me about a dollar to make in total and along with all the other paint supplies that I had on hand. So what I did was I removed the glass from the picture frame itself, placed down newspapers on my work surface as well as grabbing some of my acrylic paint and supplies. I decided to go with a cold gray color as the background for this palette helps with your color tones when you're mixing. So I used Arteza's cold gray, basically a combination of acrylic white, Mars black, and a little bit of ultramarine blue. So if you just do equal parts of those three paints, we'll get the same exact color. I took that paint and I did one even coat using the same uniform brush stroke with a three quarter inch flat wash brush. A few moments later. Okay, so you can already see this is coat number two and it's already starting to become pretty opaque. So I think I'm gonna wait for this part to dry and do one more coat of the cold gray and then we're gonna turn it over and continue on. Once that was done, I turned the glass over just to make sure that I wasn't able to see any streaks. If I did, I just went back in with a couple of strokes just to make sure that I had my surfaces covered. Eventually. Finally dried, I'm just gonna flip it over. And you can see how it creates this nice gray background. Obviously, you can put the paints right over here and we don't have much of an issue. You'll notice that there are some paint excess that kind of leaked onto this side. As you can take like an X-Acto knife or any utility knife really, break the paint right off. Then came time to put in the duct tape. So what I did was I took my picture frame and I turned it back over to the side that had the paint exposed to it because I wanna make sure that that gets protected. What I ended up doing was I took strips of duct tape and beginning with the first strip, I made sure the first strip such that it hung about halfway between the glass edge and on the backing of where I painted on the surface and then I folded it over. This is just to make sure that I have optimal coverage and also that the duct tape will not fall off. So after making the first strip, we add more strips all abutting each other going down the backing of my palette here. I don't want my layers to overlap until I got to the last strip where I again made sure that the duct tape aligned almost halfway between where it landed and folded over onto the other side of the glass palette. Once I finished laying my strips, I then removed the excess strips on the side of that palette using an X-Acto knife on a safe work surface. And from there, I went ahead and took the last strip of duct tape, folded it onto the glass palette itself. And from there, we were ready to use it. And Queen Bees, let me just say, using glass palettes are really a fun and great way to start as an acrylic painter because you waste less paint, it's really great for color mixing, and the cleanup is super easy. All you gotta do is take a damp cloth, wipe off the excess paint. If the paint is dry, scrape it right off. This next palette is extremely easy to make. All you need is a sturdy work surface of some sort and some aluminum foil. In this case, I decided to use a clipboard because it's something I had on hand, it's sturdy enough, and it was just the right size that I needed. So I just tear out the appropriate amount of aluminum foil I wanted to use and wrapped it ever so nicely around the clipboard surface and then proceeded to start painting pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then once I was done with my painting, I simply just removed the aluminum foil itself and dumped it. Pretty fast and smooth cleanup. 
Now this DIY palette is a tray palette and can be perfect for keeping your acrylics wet for much, much longer. What you need to start with is a tray or any flat surface with surrounding walls to keep items inside and to not leak out. I used a cookie tray that I had in my kitchen, but many artists that do invest in ceramic or plastic trays for their palettes. Then using either paper towels or shop towels, create four layers inside of your tray. Then pour a generous helping of water on top of your towel layers. Make sure there isn't a lot of excess water, aka water that couldn't be absorbed by your towels. You just want enough for your towels to completely soak up. Then take a roll of parchment paper or tracing paper and add it right on top of your wet layer of towels and of course cut it to size to fit your tray. This will create a safe non-invasive surface for your paint to rest and to be readily mixed. Then you are ready to use your wet palette. I've made my wet palette, I've put my colors in, I'm mixing them up. Now I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna set them down and forget about it for a while, check back later and actually see if any of the acrylics ended up drying or if it stayed wet. Once you are finished and wanna take a break, set your palette aside and place a large topper onto the tray to help keep the paints wet for longer. And also be sure to leave a little bit of space between the tray opening to allow for circulation the next day. All right, so this is a paint dollop that I put in about 24 hours ago and you can see it's already pretty dried up. Now let's go check on the palette that I also set around this time. Oh wow, so yeah you can already see the paint is very wet still. Yeah you can already see like how shiny it is so it's still basically wet. I'm just gonna touch it. Yeah that is very wet paint. Let's just check this splotch here okay so this this kind some parts dried up a little bit but other parts didn't so interesting we still have some very viable palette paint to use so it totally worked that's awesome to keep your palette wet all you need to do is just keep adding more water to the towels underneath and then make sure that the parchment paper is making good contact with the wet towels underneath so that you can continue using this wet palette and best of all once you are completely done with your palette just roll up the parchment paper and throw it away pretty easy cleanup Okay, my queen bees, I hope you enjoyed this video. So what did you think of my DIY palette ideas? Would you use it? Have you done your own palettes before? If you have, comment below, let me know. I always love to hear from you, my darling, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, you know what to do so that you can see more videos like this from me to you in the future. And remember to love yourselves and always have fun with your art. See you all next time. Bye.